Caroline Scott or the Scott man and we're here to do a drive video today and in fact it's like a, I wouldn't call it a series but it's a type of drive video I haven't done in a while like going along US Highway 24 because it was almost two years ago when I filmed the, the stretch from 275 coming down to the Michigan Ohio border so I figure why not continue this today so today we're going to be heading southwest on U.S. Highway 24 going through Toledo. So pretty much from around Alexis Road where we started and head all the way down to the southern part of 475 in the Maumee area. And as a matter of fact, this will link up with the stretch of 24 that I did a few years ago, which I remember yet filming that video. Then coming back from like the uh, Napoleon area. Okay, got a little red light already. Never mind. It's always great when it turns green before you come to a complete stop. But yeah, this is the one stretch of Highway 24, which Telegraph Road from Michigan continues into Ohio, but not for too much longer. Oh, wait a minute. I, um, I guess Telegraph was back there, like back at the traffic like this. Now, yeah, this is Detroit Avenue now. Which if you go due northeast on Detroit Avenue, crossing the... Michigan Ohio border that'll turn to I think it's M125. I think that's the that's the name or the Howie number. Hey, I think I gotta be a little careful here. Don't wanna go <laughs> if you stay on Howie 24, you don't want to go over there. <laughs> It's the hottest day of the year we've had so far. I think it's already in the mid 80s Fahrenheit, almost like 30 degrees Celsius. It's, I know back in Detroit, it's supposed to get to, I think, around 95 at least, or like 35 degrees Celsius, which is, we don't get that hot very often. It's like it. It's supposed to feel like it's 105 degrees Fahrenheit. It's like, eek. <laughs> but I can't really tell too much with since I'm in, in the car today. But right now we're coming up to I-75. Yeah, they've been doing a big reconstruction project on I-75 through the northern Toledo area. sure it'd be really nice when it's all done. But I think they still have at least another year to go, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, if you would have turned left there, that highway will take you into downtown Toledo. Although there's another highway which will take you into downtown. But as you can tell, this is primary. Uh, no, that didn't come out right. Primarily residential areas. But although it is really hot out today and humid as well, it's pretty sunny out. I'll, 
though it's not too blue because it's, there's a lot of haze in the sky. If you turn right here, I think that takes you over to the University of Toledo. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I believe that's the case. But yeah, it's like I've been the third week in the row in the row where I filmed at least one video. Because yeah, the weather's been a little bit cooperative for all coursing and for driving videos, you can do that in any type of weather unless it's like pouring down rain. Well you could do that too, but <laughs> would not come out very well. Yeah well finally finally have to stop at this light. We had a pretty good run of green lights, though, so I'm pretty impressed. Okay, here we go. But yeah, it's definitely not a day where I want to go on a three-hour hike. <laughs> In fact, yeah, this heat's even going all the way up to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So I think even Marquette is supposed to get <laughs> into the low 90s. Here is I 75 again. So, yeah, as you can tell, Highway 24 flirts with I 75 quite a bit around here. Oh, that's a nice looking church out to the, to the left there. Coming down here today, I, I had to take 24 from I-275 just because they, were, they had I-75 in the Monroe area down to one lane, and that would have been horrendous. <laughs> On the bright side, though, I didn't have to get off 24 to start this video, <laughs> but... But yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, other than work and, of course, doing these videos, I've been watching a lot of the World Cup lately. Because, yeah, as you probably know, yeah, the World Cup's every four years. So maybe, yeah, four years ago it was in Brazil. This year's in Russia, or this time's in Russia. And as of right now, it's like, the, I think the first, the first game of the round of 16 just started. I believe that is Portugal and uh, I know Portugal's on right now. But yeah, I'm trying to remember. See, yeah, they're not playing Uruguay. I think they're playing France. Oh, I do need to get over one lane. Okay, I was just thinking about it off camera. Yeah, I believe it's Portugal and Uruguay. And then Argentina versus France. Yeah, that's right. If that's wrong, I'll 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 make some little update in the video. <laughs> getting lucky at these traffic lights right now. But yeah, it's like with the with the group stage of the World Cup tournament, it's there's been a lot of surprises. Uh like for one, Germany, it's like it's like I don't know what happened to them. It's like they 
they failed to, to make to make it out of the group stage. It's like it it's like the, the sign for it was that very first game where they end up losing to Mexico. Because yeah, Germany didn't make it. Poland was ranked pretty high in the in the FIFA rankings and they and they, yeah, they didn't make it either. And yeah, Brazil they they looked like they were struggling early their first game, but they they made it in pretty easily though after that. And then it's like yeah, and then Russia too. It's like it, no, nobody was expecting Russia to make it into the round of 16, but they've made it in. Although I don't think they'll beat Spain though, because they they play tomorrow. But you never know; there could be some surprises because there's definitely been been a lot of surprises in this World Cup. And yeah, to stay on 24, you keep an eye on the sign. I, I like how they have the sign for 24 posted at each traffic light, or at least for what I have seen. So it lets you know when to make a turn. Although this is by no means a shortcut for I-75 or 475 or anything like that, because we're driving through residential areas of Toledo. Although this, yeah, this, obviously this is not residential or anything. It's got some, got some industry in this area. Right green arrow, and this is not a right turn only lane. How about that? Okay. But yeah, right now, downtown Toledo, yeah, it's off to the east of here. You have to, yeah, from here you just continue east and you go beyond I-75 and then you'll start to get more into downtown. Highway 2. Although more from the southwest of downtown Toledo, Highway 2 can also take you over there. Although Highway 2 goes over the uh, the Maumee River via the Anthony Wayne Bridge. And then, yeah, Highway 2 will eventually take you east out toward Cleveland, and it serves as like the the non-told bypass of the Ohio Turnpike. A lot of people, when they go to Cedar Point, they'll use that road to avoid having to pay the tolls on the Ohio Turnpike. Which is just, it's a t primarily like a two-lane road for the most part until you get over toward like the Port Clinton area and then it, and then it turns into a freeway. But yeah, but anyway, back to the World Cup. So yeah, it should be really interesting. Um, now that we're getting into the into the knockout stage, because yeah, we still have a lot of the big the, the big soccer stars like Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, and then for Argentina, and also I, I know uh, I know uh, Suarez for Uruguay is really good too. Yep, should be should be interesting. And as a matter of fact, uh, I take it because I I work in IT, so I have a couple computers I use at the office. It's like what I've been doing is I I have a desktop at the office and a laptop. It's like on my work laptop, I. I'm able to to stream the 
the World Cup games, and then on my desktop I have all my work stuff on there. So it's it's a perfect combination. And in fact, a lot of, a lot of people at the office, if, if, whether they have one or two computers, a lot of times they'll have like the dual monitors to where they'll have the World Cup on one screen and then their work on the other. But yeah, the, but yeah at my office, yeah, the World Cup is is a lot that we're talking about right now. here aren't in the best of quality as you can tell some some bumps here and there Ooh, I do need to get over though oh, I got a I got a uh, funeral progression of uh, probably on their way to the cemetery. Uh, but yeah, it looks like one of the shorter, the shorter lineups that I've seen. So I've, I've seen some, some convoy of funeral cars on like going to a cemetery for a burial that's can be pretty lengthy company I work for, we had a an outdoor uh, company picnic over at Lake St. Clair on Thursday, and the weather was perfect for that. Like, it was just before it started to get hot. So that, that ended up turning out very, very well. Great food, great conversations, great times. Looks like the luck had to come to an end here. <laughs> so I ran up through a lot of green lights not too long ago. <laughs> I almost forgot to turn back on the recording. <laughs> oh well, I didn't really miss like half a second maybe. of the way uh, Highway 24 will be more of like a divided highway like this as we 
now I'll start to get out of the Toledo area. We're going to be coming into Maumee pretty short, uh, shortly. And then, as I said at the beginning of the video, we'll be going all the way to where it runs into I-475 and US-23. Just like around the point where 24 becomes a freeway. thing is yeah for this part of 24 speed limits are a lot higher so it doesn't feel like you're making no progress or progress or anything like that but yeah got some pretty nice neighborhood uh, neighborhoods off to the left and the right here well, it's not really a neighborhood to the left, but that looks pretty cool. But yeah, after, th after this video, I'm gonna be making my way back up to the Metro Detroit area. There's a Troll of the Lights video I want to film. It was a place recommended a couple times to me by one of my uh, subscribers who ate there, I think, I think it was last year. Oh, I guess Speed Limit is dipping back down. I forgot about this. <laughs> and not only that, but I'm being punished by a red light. <laughs> Alright, that was weird. The red light literally only lasted 10 seconds. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, there's a there's a Coney Island in the New Boston area, which is pretty close to the to the Detroit Metro Airport. And I can check the reviews out. There's supposed to be some really great reviews, so it should be pretty cool to check out. Okay, yeah, this is Highway 20, a lot busier intersection. Okay, and that's a pretty cool movie theater to the left. And yeah, downtown Maumee's just off to the left. And then on the other side of the Maumee River, that is Perrysburg. Which, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, the river is not too far off to the, to the southeast of us. traffic lights, although it could have been a lot worse, especially back in the Toledo itself. Okay. I think we're getting closer to 475. In fact, I think it's going to be not too far after this inter this traffic light up ahead. Oh, a yeah, half mile. It's coming up pretty quickly here. I need to get over. But yeah, I'm probably going to go south on 475 and then back up 75 that way. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this little driving tour of Highway 24 from Alexis Road coming down to 475 and 23 near Maumee. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give this video a like or a thumbs up. For more Scammy trail videos, definitely click that subscribe button. 
Well, thank you for watching today's drive video here on US Highway 24, and this is Scott, or the Scott Man, 